Question 15, the last page on the paper, is typically the hardest. Often it's difficult because the application uh, is really challenging, and in this case that's certainly true. Um, these are very unusual applications after Part A. Uh, part A, write down the median rehearsal time. I think uh, most of you should have got that from a box and whisker plot. The median is the middle value. If you're not sure of your box and whisker plots, just go and check up on them. The end of the box is the upper quartile. Um, the beginning of the box is the lower quartile, that's 25% of the data. So 25% of the data is in there, 25% of the data is in there, 25% of the data is in here, and 25% of the data is in there. Um, these endpoints are the maximum point and the minimum point. Okay, so um, those are your the, the definitions of the box and whisker plot, so you should get the median rehearsal part. Stephen says that he rehearsed on each of the 32 days. State whether Stephen is correct. Give a reason for your answer. There's two marks for this, and it says give a reason for your answer. That means one mark is for the answer. That's what's called an A1 mark, and one mark is for the reason. That's an R1 mark. You cannot get the A mark without the R mark. So A1 R0 is not awarded. If you don't give a reason, you will not get any marks. You won't get an answer, even if the, a mark, even if the answer is correct. It's a you, you're guessing yes, he is or no without a reason. They won't give you it because it's a 50% chance of getting it right anyway, just by guessing. Give a reason. Okay. Says he rehearsed on each of 32 days. If he didn't rehearse, it means the time of his rehearsal was zero. Are there any days that could have been zero minutes rehearsal time? If there are, then we don't know if he's correct. If there aren't, then he is correct. So that's what you need to look at. Finally, question C. And question C, the final paper on the uh, question on the paper, is quite tricky. We know that there are 32 days. Okay. We know that the if we split that in half, we've got 16 days. So we've got the bottom 16 days, when he did the least rehearsal. Then we've got the median, which is between the 16th and the 17th. And then we've got the upper 16 days, which was written lower and upper really. Um, so this median is between the 16th and the 17th data point. So there are 16 values below the median. So we have 16 values below, um, between, sorry, let's cross that out, below the median. And you've worked out what the median is in part A. Okay, 24, I'll give you a clue now, is less than the median. So could all 16 of those values be 24? Well, you know what the minimum is. You certainly know what that is. Um, and you know what the lower quartile is. Um, so that will give you a clue. So the most it could possibly be at the moment is 16, but we might be able to reduce that. There are 16 below the median. How many of those could be 24? And that's what the graph tells you. Are there any that you know aren't 24? And uh, it says find the possible values of k. So at the moment, the most is 16. It might not be that. Obviously, there might be zero days when you did 24. The, the lower quartile doesn't need to be one of the data points because the median isn't necessarily one of the data points. Um, that takes a little bit of fiddling around. It's not something you can just plug an answer into. So I'll leave you to work that out.